This is serious. When you look to your right, you see at first these clouds coming up to the right of the nuclear blast, which appears to be a nuclear blast. Maybe it's taking place in the water. Could this uh, test that actually went live, it could have went off on the boat, kind of had a, a minor blow up on the right side, but you see that there is a fire before the explosion. So there was probably a pre-explosion before this main one. That, that to me looks like a nuclear explosion in the water. So this is pretty serious. Some of the water probably shielded some of the some of the personnel, but uh, likely most of those people will get sick and die anyway. This looks like a megaton nuke went off in the water. And this is what happens when countries get into a nuclear arms race that we have with the U.S. and Russia, and we're pretty much provoking each other to build crazier and crazier weapons. Uh, the Russians think they're doing self-defense. The Americans think they're doing self-defense. It's a perpetual... Six people have been affected by severe radiation exposure as a result of a blast. They have been delivered by Moscow by air on en route to the Federal Medical Biophysical Center of Federal Medical Biological Agency. Majoring in radiation and nuclear medicine, it is reported with reference to sources in the Russian Defense Ministry that all the clothes of the injured and doctors as well as the chemical protection suits were burned. It was initially reported that a fire broke out at a military base. Later, Russia's defense ministry specified that an explosion occurred during a test of a liquid propulsion system at a military training ground. The Russian Federation has resolved the accident. At least two specialists were poorly killed, and another six employees of the defense ministry and the developer were injured. An increase in the radiation levels was recorded. The wave from the explosion. That, had, to me, it looks everything like a nuclear bomb. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Nuclear bomb detonating in water. It doesn't look like it was too far in the water as well. Perhaps it was floating on the water almost when it exploded. This drone, I was reading up on it. The Poseidon is a 70-foot underwater drone powered by a nuclear reactor. It's a drone that can cross an entire ocean at depths down to a thousand meters, making it nearly impossible to intercept. Tipped with megaton sized thermonuclear warhead. There were seven pharmacies around this area that was all bought out iodine. People were buying iodine, but it's, iodine is not going to be enough to stop plutonium ending your body. Never is with nuclear. There isn't a cure all. How many thousands and thousands of acres are going to be left to nuclear wasteland that can't be used for nothing? And they were using what was called a nuclear propulsion drone called Poseidon. It can carry two megatons of weapons. It's also a nuclear propelled system. At least two people died and several received injuries after the liquid fuel in a missile jet engine exploded during a test at the military testing area of Nonuska on White Sea Coast. Regional News Site 29 reports that the accident happened at 9 a.m. Thursday. The news site claims that three people are dead and that eight of the 15 are in serious condition. And when they brought those people in, the medical 